Hey guys, Josh with Link Spider. So you've shot a whole day's worth of video on your GoPro. Let's say you have a 64 gig card and it's full. Uh, you want to transfer all that data onto either your computer or an external hard drive and you're finding out that it's taken a ridiculous amount of time. Now there's a few reasons why. Some of it may be within your control, some of it may not be. The two things that you need to think about are bus speeds, which we're going to talk about, and transfer speeds. Uh, the transfer speeds have really have more to do with the cards. Uh, if you go to our website, we talk about certain cards. The SanDisk Extreme Plus uh, is an 80 megabyte per second card read. Uh, that's about as fast as you're going to get right now. Uh, advancements are going to happen. Cards are going to get faster. But for right now, that's about as fast as you can expect. The first way you can transfer files is through your GoPro. Plug your USB cable into the port, into your computer and you're gonna get about 25 megabytes per second. So you're not gonna meet the maximum limitations of that card. Uh, 64 uh, gig full is gonna take you about 45 minutes. Too long for me. Uh, the next thing you can do, you can use this goofy little mini SD adapter. Uh, if you're like me, you've got an SD card reader in the side of your computer. You can plug it into that. Um, you're gonna get about 20 megabytes per second. That's gonna take close to 55 minutes. Um, one of the last things that I've found is one of these dedicated uh, USB 3 readers. Uh, and really what's more important is the fact that it has a micro SD card reader, so you don't have to worry about putting that in another adapter. Typically with electronics, anytime you put contacts in between things, you're going to suffer loss. Uh, this minimizes that. So I mentioned this is USB 3, okay? USB 2, USB 3. Let's not get hung up too much on the terms, but let's talk about the difference. USB 2, which is a fairly old technology, was about a 60 megabyte per second transfer. A USB 3, which is what this is, is a 640 megabyte per second. Now you're thinking to yourself, that's crazy fast. Uh, 64 gigabytes at 64, 640 megabytes per second means you could transfer a full disk at about a minute and a half, almost, almost two minutes. The problem is, like we talked about, the card is only good for 80 megabytes per second. I still do recommend USB 3. Uh, like I said, USB 2 is 60 megabytes per second, so you won't get the full advantage of the card. But the other thing is, USB 2 is old technology, and these cards are far newer than that. So anything that's USB 2 is probably not designed to work for these cards. So this reader right here, and I'll put the link in the YouTube video, is a SanDisk reader. It's a USB 3. It has the micro USB. It has a couple of other things that you may or may not use. But with this card, I'm getting almost the full 80 megabytes per second, and that comes to about 13 and a half minutes to transfer a full disk. 13 and a half minutes, over 55 minutes, I think that's the way to go. Hey guys, this has been Josh from Link Spider. If you have any more questions, you can contact me at LinkSpider.com. Thanks a lot.